Because I was going to ask how did sickish sexuality was linked with feminine ascension or goddess ascension. Well, sexuality is feminine in nature. Do you see? Yes, yes. The man who commented. Yes. He is not feminine in nature. He is exploring his sexual nature. He is in connection to his sacred sexuality or sexuality. Right. And his partner is not. Oh, right, okay. That's why he is the chaser and she is the runner. Right. It's not that he is the Divine Feminine and she is the Divine Masculine. It's that she is cut off from her feminine energy. Which makes her run, you see, because she can feel his sensual power, you see. He should not identify with the Divine Feminine as an archetype, you see, but as his sexual energy is rising powerful, you see. A man with a powerful sexual energy can make a feminine being run because she is afraid of the power you see and also if she has wounds in her sexual energy as he steps into his power you see sexual power as it rises easily and he's connected to his sacred or sexual energy which is feminine mm -hmm. He is embodying this and she will be repelled by it because underneath she envies it or is afraid of it, you see. She does not trust it, cannot be near it. Therefore, he is not the divine feminine, meaning the more feminine one, but at that moment in time is connected to the powerful feminine energy, the powerful feminine serpent more freely. It is not that he is destined to be... Uh, the goddess or the feminine in the relationship but he just needs to acknowledge that he is connected to the goddess energy stream in that way through his sexuality his desire for her you see in the case of ideals or concepts like twin flame there is a big misunderstanding you see that you are split in your souls into two separate bodies this is not the case there are mirrors divine beings who can mirror you completely to show you your wounding, you see. Every being who has a connection to the feminine energy usually has a overzealous sexual energy, meaning there are distortions that cause wounds, that cause them to overexpress their desire in a distorted way and also to uh, project their sexual energy outwardly, usually losing their energy, finding it difficult to manifest abundance of money, security, because their sexual energy is projected outwardly out of their body and they cannot and do not understand the need, have the skill to contain it within their energy, body and system. This can be overbearing and overwhelming to anybody who is near. It can be felt as very intense, you see, as scary, feeling that intrusion of sexual energy. So feminine beings or masculine beings who are connected to that sexual energy, the energy of sexuality, the Kundalini, are in that moment expressing a distorted version of goddess energy. It is up to them not to identify as a divine feminine being or a goddess embodied, but harness that power of sexual energy, understanding that they are connected to its stream fully and learn how to manage it, to contain it with their own energy body. It is natural as twin flames. Um, the reason why they say there are, you are the same soul in two separate bodies is because it gives you the chance to alternate between the energies, meaning at one point in your life you can have this overpowered, distorted sexual energy and then at other times be repressed completely. In that moment, you're being shown something. If somebody is running from you, it does not mean they are masculine. It means that they feel fear, or they are unaware, or unready, or unprepared to handle that distorted sexual energy. It is intimidating to them completely. 
we do not want anybody to be confused about who it is they are, masculine or feminine. Understand that polarity and energy intermingle. You have both masculine and feminine energies within your body, yes. And you will in your life fluctuate between both streams of alternating between masculine or feminine energy. We do not want you to stay stagnant, you see, if at one period of time you are more in your feminine or distorted feminine energy and you attract perhaps a partner who is in the opposite, you see. It does not matter if you're in a masculine or feminine body. We do not want you to label yourself as the divine feminine or masculine. Twin flames have been brought to you as a precursor to what is about to rise within you and in society. The ideal, the archetype of twin flames has been around in your humanity for generations now. It is time for a change. It has been brought to your attention that there are different energies you see, the masculine and feminine polarities, and now it's time for unity. It's up to you to unite within your own energies, to rid yourself of you are a masculine or feminine being. You are both, and you fluctuate between both, you see. However, when we talk about embodying a living goddess, we are talking a step beyond. You can be a masculine being and connect your goddess energy in a certain way, meaning your sacred sexuality. However, you will never be a goddess in body, unfortunately. It is not for you to be the vessel for goddess energy. Your role is something new. It is more exciting than what you have currently put yourself into. Understand there is a place for feminine beings as priestesses of the goddess to channel our goddess energy, wisdom to see. And as masculine beings, it is up to you to remember your true destinies. Yes, connected to power. Yes, connected to the goddess. We are wanting you to clear up the confusion. We're wanting you to see your new role as something new, as a step beyond the dynamic of twin flame, you see. There is a powerful place for masculine beings, connected to sexual energy, which is the goddess, you see, but not to embody it fully. It is for the masculine to be connected to it, however, it's not for them to channel it. It's for them to channel a different energy. To become a magician of some sorts, you see. To harness the power of thought, mental capacity. It is for them to use their energy of their highest ability. As beings identify with old dynamics of twin flame partnerships, they miss sacred unity. If you see yourself as divine masculine or divine feminine, you do not just see you do not see yourself in full sacred unity. The step after twin flame is a beautiful one, and it's time for you and the world to graduate. What is a divine masculine when he is in unity, inside with masculine and feminine energy? He graduates from divine masculine to Magi. What is a Divine Feminine when she is in Sacred Unity internally? She graduates from Divine Feminine to Priestess of the Goddess. When you are in Sacred Unity individually, you must ascend to the next stage, you see. It is not at the level of Twin Flame you can have a united relationship, you see. People say this, however, unknowingly people have moved on to the next phase and identify with, and should identify with, the archetypes of priestess and magi. A priestess is a being who harnesses both masculine and feminine energies, however she embodies 
the goddess fully. A magi is a being who harnesses masculine feminine energies, but embodies the warrior fully. We want those of the earth to ascend to the next stage of their spiritual journey, to release the ties and templates of twin flame and move forward to sacred unity. There is a belief that you must unite with your so-called twin flame. This is a lie. That person, that being, is to show you something to allow you to unite internally, to ascend to the next phase of your journey. And it is in that phase, once you embody the Magi or the Priestess, that you will find your partner for eternity. To carry out your missions, you see. To find that undeniable love and unity. You must understand your roles, you see. And let go of the imbalances of relationships and your energy previously. For masculine beings who identify as the Divine Feminine, we would say it's time to look at your sexual energy. Bring it within your own body, purify its nature internally and start to use your mental capacity more clearly to direct your energy. And to resonate with the Magi rather than something else. And for the Divine Feminine, who feels she is the Divine Masculine energy, we will say yet again, look at where you're restricted or repressing your sexual energy. Awaken it, activate it within your feminine body and see what fears come up for you while you run from its intensity. As you heal this, you'll be able to embody the priestess fully. And for the opposites, you see, the divine masculine who is in the masculine energy, he must open up to the feminine within him and allow her to rise fully. And for the feminine who is in the divine feminine energy, look at how you overgive sexually allow others to take your energy and start to build the boundaries to hold it in your own capacity, to gain more control over your energy and body, more masculine grounding in your sensual energy. This brings about sacred unity within, but we do not want you to stay in that dynamic of twin flame, you see. It's time for you to go on the next leg of your spiritual awakening journey. This is it. Discover the hidden ascension teachings of the goddess temples of ancient Lemur in Egypt by watching this video next or by clicking the link in the description box below this video.